Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. FET is still below the main resistance level or area between 95 cents and $1.15. It's the 38.2 retracement to the 61.8 retracement. That resistance area hasn't changed. The trend line is still in place and could be interesting um, going forward because a break above the trend line might indicate that at least a larger bounce is coming or maybe that way for this entire correction, which started in March is already complete. At the moment, I cannot confirm that we are below resistance and the rally from the August low is only in three waves. So yeah, for sure, you know, a larger five wave move could develop from it uh, or out of it. And that would become more likely with a break above $1.15. For now, um, we can see here possibly further upside extensions as long as the, what was that? Is it the intraday low? Yeah, as long as the intraday low, the Monday low that formed at 80 and a half cents um, is holding, okay? It's a bit difficult, bit ambiguous what exactly the micro count is here in this choppy structure, but it doesn't really matter because they all, you know, started at around 80 and a half cents. So for now, I'm, I'm just tracking this rally as a potential C wave, wave C of four. When we're having a structure like that, then we know that a C wave should normally reach the 100% extension. That level is located at $1.07. So the $1.07 level uh, here, wave C of four, could be a key target. And that's just above the 50% retracement and it's exactly where the trend line is located as well. So I would pay attention to that level, basically the cluster there between the 50% retracement at around $1.04 and the 100% extension at $1.07. A break above it could send it to $1.15. There's the 61.8 retracement, an absolute key level, golden ratio, retracement level, and there's the 1.236 extension, also at $1.15, key Fibonacci extension level. So also a key target for wave C. So there's good, um, good cluster of resistance up there and i would say targets for the c wave start at one dollar four to one dollar seven for now there's no indication that a local top is in place but the move up looks corrective okay mainly mainly because we're still below resistance and because the move to the downside from this swing high that formed in june end of june is only a three wave move down so we can call it a wave one a wave two a wave three yeah, this might be the wave four with one more low in wave five to come. And if one more low happens, then the first indication that this fifth wave to the downside has started is a break below 80 and a half cents. And then the next support level we are watching is 52 cents. But really the bulls need to show up there because if we don't see a reversal to the upside at that level, it would open the door to a much more bearish scenario. I mean, it just means the overall structure, the overall assumption on the chart will be affected because we don't want to see a fourth wave go below the 61.8 retracement, not even in a diagonal pattern, which means in summary, the 52 cent level is important if we get another low. The break below 80.5 cents would be an indication that we're heading down for another low. Until then, we can watch for higher prices, but it's likely only wave C or four and a break above $1.15, which is an absolute key level, would open the door to a more bullish interpretation. For example, that wave five to the upside, which can send us to, second, yeah, wave five to the upside, that can send us next to $5, uh, might have started. But only above one fifteen, that will become more likely because that would be a break above the initial resistance. That's the update about FET, Fetch AI. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.